You gotta take control. Life's too short. Get out of your head. Make a better life instead. You gotta give it all your best. So put your hands up to the sky and live your best life. All right, don't just let it go by. Just try. Oh my, got only one life. Got only this time. We gonna get it right. You gotta let go of those who don't belong in your tribe. So cut the bad out of your life. Joey, welcome again for welcome to another video today. So. It is another night of recording fun videos. We got a little Cobra Kai fun video. So as you guys know, we just started doing our premium service where when members pay for a video, their video gets priority. And so this will be a video that everyone will be enjoy, but it's gonna be specifically be a requested one from Tyrell. So I'm gonna make sure that he's definitely one of the first people to see it because he did request it. And today we're going to be talking all about Grandmaster Kim Soo-yeon. And he is, no matter what anyone else says, look, Terry Silver's time was season 5 and, and season 4, and he'll still have an amazing role in season 6. You can count on it. But if this was season 5, 2.5, like a second part 2 season 5, I would say, yeah, Silver is definitely going to be the main villain of season 6. But... The reason that I think they kept it out of the limelight in the first half is because, well, Kreese was in the first half and everyone bitched and moaned about Kreese. The number one person that was present in the first half that set the stage that everyone was shocked about is, how the fuck is Grandmaster Kim alive? Right? Well, here's the reason how Grandmaster Kim is alive, guys. Because he's Grandmaster Kim and he is the creator of the Way of the Fist. So we're going to be talking about Master Kim. So, with Master Kim being known as the creator of the way of the fist. There is not a doubt that is going to be that he is there's not a doubt in my mind that he is going to be the main villain of the whole season. In the as this is the final season, you know the saying is it's time to go hard or go home. And you go big and you go home. And this time this is gonna be like your end game crescendo. One of my subscribers in my stream asked me tonight if part two is the tournament, what is part three? In Doctor Strange words now we're in the end game. And the end game is our heroes must confront Master Kim. Because I'm assuming the good guys won't learn about Master Kim until either the end of part two or maybe early part three. And so this the stage is set. You ha we have our Thanos, guys. We have our man that's gonna demolish everything. So he's the master of the way of the fist. Not doubt my mind he's gonna be the main villain of the final season for several reasons. First of all, Master Kim is the main is is main is is the main responsible, mainly responsible for all three evil that has been going on throughout the third franchise from behind the scenes. As this is the one who opened Pandora's box to begin with, as a master of karate of Tang Soo Do, which if you guys don't know is one of Chuck Norris is top fighting styles, is basically the one who turned both Kreese and Silver into villains that we know today. If we really think about it, both Kreese and Silver are kind of victims in a way, since the whole philosophy of strike first, strike hard, and no mercy was never their idea to begin with. It was. It, it, it was with that in mind, one of the main themes of the season will really focus on the roots and origins of where the way the fist first started. As much sinister as both Kreese and Silver are as villains, Master Kim Soo Young is the real deal. As he pretty much considered as the Empire, uh, as Emperor Palpatine, Darth Sidious of the series, who turned both Kreese and Silver, as well as his granddaughter Kim Da Un, into Sith Lords. The only way that our heroes can Sith Lords that the only way that our heroes can truly put an end to all the crap they've been dealing with throughout the past decade is to cut the head off the OG snake. That's right guys, This we, we the Chosen was saying cut head off snake thinking that Cobra Kai would end with silver, but it won't end until Master Kim is in the ground. There's a reason this man is a hundred and God knows how old he, he's lived a decade as a Master Karaga. I feel like Cobra Kai is now graduated to a level where 
they're basically in that Batman lore. This is the Ra's al Ghul of the uh, Cobra Kai universe. This man is, is, is alive and kicking, and he ain't going down. There's been a lot of people like, this man old. What's this old man going to do besides you teach people? Don't mock, don't mock this old man. This old man will, will beat the shit out of you with the stick. This man is going to go freaking it man on all you bitches. Like, you have no idea what this man is capable of. So, then we go backwards and... So to cut head off the OG snake, started all of this as this is the best way for them to fully move forward and be able to live a happy and peaceful life. As long as Master Kim is still breathing and standing, none of our beloved characters are safe until they are end the root of all evil that created it. Even though many people might want Silver as the final villain, it makes no sense considering that everything that he... Chris and Kim Da Un does is for him and his legacy. Since they all look up to him as their god figure. Another thing is that according to one of his quotes in Flashback in episode 2, Master Kim made it clear that those who are under his root are considered stupid, as in his way of saying that they are inferior to him and that no one is above him in terms of dominance. With all that being said, I truly believe all the knowledge that he passed on to generations of students, along with his philosophy and legacy, will die with him. And it says, with all that being said, I truly believe in part three we can look at both Master Kim and Terry Silver as Darth Sidious and Count Dooku of the series, with Kim representing Sidious and Silver representing Count Dooku. And this is a perfect parallel if you really think about it, because when you really think of these two characters, um... Technically, we did have Silver as Count Dooku because Silver confronted Chosen being like Yoda. So you had you had that feeling here. And now things have boiled to the point. Now Darth Sidious, you know, like to say, somehow Palpatine returned. Somehow, Master Kim never died. So we must confront Master Kim. I believe we are going to get a grand, a grand battle. This man has a knife. He's probably hiding a cane. He's probably hiding a sword in that cane. Silver had to get the sword skills from somewhere. And if you don't know, I know part one wanted us to believe that Kreese is Kim's best students. But like we say in this quote, Kreese defied Kim. And no one is above Master Kim. This man is the, is the root of all evil. The villain of all villains. This is like a combination of Doctor Doom, um, Thanos, all the big bads and all the big franchise universes. And he's a threat. And... You're going to see just how much he's a threat. We only have gotten a taste of him. In part one, we saw flashbacks of younger him. If you guys know, in in a mere few days, I will be shooting and releasing my first miniseries of Mr. Miyagi vs. Master Kim. So you're going to get to see what young Master Kim was truly capable of through my story, which is going to be great. And I hope you'll really enjoy it. But here's the other kicker, guys. You're also going to get to see... You know, we might get more flashbacks in part two of Master Kim. There's definitely going to be build-up for what is coming. I have a feeling that when Chosen comes back to the Sekai Taikai, Chosen will show up into part two on a new quest, a new mission. Maybe he went to Okinawa more than just, um, more than just, uh, more than just to see Kimiko. Maybe it's like Gandalf in Lord of the Rings. Maybe he had a secret quest. Look up information in the archives of, Miyag uh, of Miyagi and, and look in Okinawa. And maybe he found roots of the evil, the true evil snake. You have your regular cobras, which are crease and silver. And now you have your albino cobra, the Grand Master King. And, and again, keep in mind, it's Terry Silver, it's Sensei Terry Silver, Sensei John Kreese, Sensei Kim Dot Noon. There is a reason that you put Grand in front of Master. And also, none of those other instructors get the name of Master. It's like it's like in, in, in Star Wars. You're on his council, but we do not grant you the rank of Master. They do not want to let Anakin on the council. Master Kim elected himself with the council because he is the very best of the best. If Terry Silver is... If Chris is a 7 degree black belt and Silver's maybe an 8 or 9th degree black belt, then Master Kim is probably... 10th, 11th, 12th, as high of rank as the system goes. And he is a master of deception and Tang Soo Do. 
Everything that makes silver great, everything that silver is, comes from Astrakhan. We love silver, but silver is just the monster, just the, the gun for hire, the, the, the right hand man to the real evil. What is coming here is more evil. We're excited to see silver in part two, we know it's coming, but Master Kim still lurks in the shadows. Like a snake, he waits for his moment to strike. And like a cobra, he will strike. And the viper will be sweeter than you've ever seen it. He will bring a slew of new techniques. The silver bullet is only the first of many to expect. So what do you guys think about this, guys? Are you guys excited to see Master Kim in the rest of the season? Do you like my idea of him being the main villain? Are you excited about his purpose as the main villain? And what good guy sensei are you most excited to see him fight? I'm excited for him to fight Chosen. Because I have this theory that Chosen killed... That Master Kim killed Chosen's father. And there's going to be a personal vendetta between these two. And we, we already got Count Dooku versus Yoda. So it's time for Yoda versus Darth Sidious. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed my video, make sure you drop a like. Hit that share and subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. And remember, if you like what you see here, and you want to see more, click right over here to see more. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Alright, so that's on.